Good morning. Welcome back to Fun Dab Crafts 24-7. This is a semi-let's make uh, project video. What we're using today is the Simply Rocking Valentine card making kit. Um, it comes in this little box here. This one here. It's the one in the box. Um, it has all these terrific uh, card bases. And um, I, uh, so in doing this, so here, let me show you this first. Here, those are your examples. They're absolutely gorgeous. Those are them on the back. Uh, you get a bunch more on the inside as well, how to use all your supplies. And um, then those are the directions. Um, I did not like how the stability of just the simple card alone. I, I don't know. When it's closed and you put your hinging mechanism on, that's what this is, um, it will probably be a lot more sturdy than what it feels because it feels the card the the card thickness isn't it, it the is not that thick of a card base um the paper is not that thick so it's it's not as sturdy as you would hope uh especially for this being so thin however if you put this in here and use it just like it is they're probably anticipating because you don't open it um, it just springs open when it pops out of the card and you sit it on the table that that would be legitimately fine enough. I, I, I did not feel that way. I'm using both that mechanism, but I made a reinforcement. So all I did was I took a piece of paper, I folded it in half. I put this on the edge of the fold traced around the edge of it, hand cut it out on the, so like you trace it on the outside like this. And then when I took it out and I cut it, I cut it on the inside, the inside line that I drew so that way you didn't see the pencil line. And it was a hair smaller than what this base actually is. And that was so you didn't see my funky um, hand trimming there. I tried to use a circle, a die, and I have a pretty big circle, except this isn't exactly a circle shape that you're matching up so there wasn't any way to get a die to perfectly cut that out so I thought the best thing for me was just to hand draw it and then trim it out and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue the back and the front to the inside layers and then or you know to the outside layers and then um, so glue this piece like this on here and then glue the front on there like that and then put my hinge in between um, I'm actually going to see first if I can get it to stand up because I thought or to stand up without the hinging mechanism and see if I could make it a card so you could legitimately open it and then hopefully stand it up. But I don't know. These these top folding cards have a propensity to want to just fall flat on the table. So I don't know. I'll see. I think once I get the weight on there, I'll be adding this. <laughs> so then the uh, so I picked this card base. Primarily because it was the first one that just came out of the envelope. And it's absolutely gorgeous. I said, why not? So then I picked this to layer on top of it. I picked this. Um, oh, I grabbed out my... Where are you? Where are you? Hold on. Let me find it. Hold on. So I grabbed out the Enchanted 3D Concentric Dyes. These heart ones here. Look at how pretty. Those are so gorgeous. And so it's these dies here. And I use the middle one. And it cuts just a frame. But it has a ton of detail on the uh, frame itself. Um, I went ahead and first embossed the... Uh, this is Anna Griffin matte gold cardstock. I have a, a deco circle uh, embossing folder. Just a normal embossing folder. Ran it through first. And then I went ahead and cut this out of that. And... Um, Got that as my second layer. So then out of the the rest of it's the ephemera from the pack. I grabbed out these couple of roses. I'm going to use Lacaso. I grabbed out this red heart, which is going to go here. So the pink roses, the red heart, this super fun new banner sentiment. Happy Valentine's Day like so. And then I was going to add a pink bow like that. So let me go ahead um, and glue this all together and then I'll show you what it looks like. Hold on. Okay guys, I want to let you know too, when you're putting these together, you want to make sure that whatever you're doing, you either do it straight down the center or you do one to each side. Otherwise that's what's going to um, make your card not stand up straight before it starts rocking. So on the back of this heart here, I added three down the center and then two to each side 
of the heart to make sure that it was going to be the weight was evenly distributed um, and that it was going to evenly. And then as you're putting it on, uh, see and, and look. So there there you go. Um, and this card didn't actually start out perfectly straight anyways. Um, but when, when we're done, we're, what we're going to do is to, to even out the weight, we're going to add a gems. That's going to be our counterbalance. On here are some gems. So I got this one, two, three down the center, one on each. And I could be slightly uh, skewed as well. It might not be uh, the card base on that. But it, it wasn't actually sitting all that perfectly straight. So then let's test that. So it's still just a tad to the side. That's okay. So then, uh, hold on. Let me, so that's, maybe I can get it here. Um, so I'm just going to glue these down. Um, and the nice thing about this being matte is I can shift them a little. They'll be able to shift a tad once I get these on. Uh, let's see if that's where we want this though. Yeah, that looks great. But let's see what it looks like here. Yep, perfect. So one to each side, even though it's not in the same. It's still one's on one side and one's on the other. And now let's add this. And I'm not sure where this is going to go on it. So we'll just kind of do something like that. And that still looks really cute. We can shift it if we need. Nope, still good. And now we're going to add this to the center. And it's actually looking like we're not going to actually have to add any weight. Although we could if we want. So hold on one second. Let me get my hot glue gun for my little bow. And then I'll see if I can find some gems. Hold on. Okay, so while my hot glue gun was heating up, I went ahead and added these uh, Stamps of Life beautiful little pink gems. Uh, they come in a four pack in different colors. And uh, you can get them on Stamps of Life website. And uh, so I added one up here, but towards the center. And then I added these two, one counterbalancing on the two, you know, the two large ones. These counterbalance each other since they're opposite the middle of the heart. The smaller one is actually more towards the middle. And then I have one on each of the outsides. And it didn't, it didn't reflect the balance of the card too much. Uh, to either direction so I thought okay cool we're doing great with that balancing on it so now I'm just going to add my bow and I'm going to add it right to the center there and then this should finish off this card and be awesome I think it's going to come out really pretty and I'm sticking it right in the center so hopefully um, it will look awesome what do you think oh it's a little crooked my bow got a little crooked Okay, so there we are. Oh, and I got a little glue thing. <laughs> Whoopsie. Okay, so there we go. Oh, right? Isn't that great? So it rocks. It's balanced. And it looks awesome. I think it looks fabulous. And I did not put the um, dill in the center. It stands up great. Had I not added the uh, card stuck in the center, there's no way this card would have... It didn't even hardly want to stand up on its own. Although, look, as, as I'm messing with it, though, and opening and closing it more, it is going to want to fall on the table, like not want to stand up. So you do want to think about that. So if you don't open and close it a bunch before you send it, the person will be able to actually put it on their table, and it'll probably be just fine. But if you're worried about it, you can always add this. I think I'm going to go ahead and leave it. I think it's super fun. And then I can write on the inside and it'll be great. This is what the back looks like. You still have your handmade by. Um, so that works out really nice. Um, but yeah, that's a super fun Valentine card you could send to somebody. And I think they'd really get a kick out of it. It's super pretty. A lot of dimension. Definitely the Anna Griffin style with all those layers. And I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Is it eight layers? So one, two, three, four, five, six. We're only six layers of Anna, but that's okay. We got six, right? Makes it pretty. So there it is. Let me know what you guys think of the card down in the comments below. Hope you're having a fantastic weekend. Until next time, happy crafting, everyone. Bye-bye.